There's no arguing the speed bumps do slow you down. But what about when they slow down this vehicle or this vehicle? If we got to them faster, some of them would have lived. City Councilor Don Harris wants to fund a study that pinpoints emergency routes. If a road is frequently used by emergency responders, no speed humps there. What you find with speed humps is that they, they actually probably kill more people than they save. Not true, says City Councilor Sally Maye. I cannot imagine any way that you could even guesstimate how many people have been saved. Um, you might be saved walking to your car and not even know it. Maye says she spent years trying to get humps in her district and there is no way she's giving them up. There's just no way to quantify that. So I think it's a guesstimate at best. We went straight to the man in charge of all of the EMS and fire responders, Albuquerque Fire Chief Robert Ortega. Do they slow apparatus down into those areas? Yes, they do. That's what they were intended to do. Uh, do they uh, put us in the, in the frame of not meeting the response time criteria set forth? No. We do meet that response time criteria that was set forth by the uh, uh, medical authority. Harris argues during an emergency, seconds can mean the difference between life and death. Maya argues her neighborhoods are safer and happier with the slower traffic.